All right, influencers, we're gonna do this selfie style. I'm here in the British Virgin Islands. I'm on Necker Island. That's the island that Richard Branson owns. And last night I had the chance to talk to Richard Branson briefly. And today this video is about the art of approaching famous people and talking to them. So last night we uh, were here on Necker Island. We had a little uh, tournament down by his tennis courts and Richard Branson showed up and he played the winners. So we had a group of people and we were playing doubles and then the team that won got to play against Richard Branson. So before and after the game, we've got a group of about 100 people. And of course, everybody wants to get a photo with Richard Branson. Everybody wants to talk to him. And the group of people I'm with are pretty incredibly accomplished people. So it's not like they're pitching him ideas or stuff, but I bet Richard Branson shows up at events all the time and people are trying to pitch him ideas and just all sorts of crazy stuff. And you don't want to be that guy, right? You don't want to be the person who goes up to Richard Branson and pitches him on some crazy idea and he has to be polite but decline and say, uh, you know, that's a great idea, but, uh, so, you know, it puts him in an awkward position. You don't want to be that person, right? Who does that? So but you might want to get a photo with somebody like Richard Branson. Maybe you want to talk to him. Maybe you want to just get his feedback or his advice on something. And it might be something that takes him 30 seconds. And uh, that's the situation that I found myself in. Uh, I didn't get a photo with him. That would have been cool. But I did want some advice because I'm working on a book called Hustlers from History. And I want to get people like Richard Branson, Gary Vaynerchuk, other modern day hustlers, successful entrepreneurs who have been able to get a lot done. And I want to get these people to tell me who is somebody from history that they would recommend that young entrepreneurs today study to become more successful. So I'd like to do a chapter on these hustlers from history and I'd like the intro to each chapter to be somebody like Richard Branson saying, well, here's one of my favorite people from history that I've studied, who I've studied, and I think all other entrepreneurs should study too, and for these reasons. So I wanted to get Richard's take on this and then maybe be able to follow up later and get a little more detail from him. So, but he's kind of being pestered by a lot of people, a lot of people around him. I didn't want to just kind of bust in there and get in his face or anything so I was just waiting around and I thought well maybe I'm gonna lose my chance maybe I ju it just won't happen and I also don't like hovering around people because people can sense that when you're hovering around so I just uh, I didn't hover around and I just uh, kind of let the moment pass but then later uh, another chance manifested itself. I just happened to be going to the dinner table and then Richard Branson was there and it wasn't on purpose. I wasn't trying to get close to him or anything, but the next thing I knew, I'm right next to him in the line at the dinner table. And so that was my chance. So I just said, hey Richard, can I ask you a quick question? I said, sure. I said, so who's one person from history that you would recommend that young entrepreneurs study to learn how to be more successful? And the funny thing was, I stumped him. He, at first he said, well, Andrew Carnegie, some interesting da-da-da. Then he said, wait, like, you know what? I gotta think about this. I don't know, follow up with me later. I gotta think about this a bit. And uh, so I was able to talk to him a little bit, but I stumped him and I didn't get the answer to the question because of course later he was busy and there wasn't a, an easy opportunity to get to talk to him again. And then he disappeared from the dinner and I, Saw him this morning around here, but uh, haven't had a chance to run into him and follow up on the answer. But now, I could email his assistant and say, hey, I talked to Richard when I was on Necker Island, and he said to follow up with him about this. And then I could follow up and I could get that answer later. So, the tips I have for getting close to famous people and asking questions is, one, I think unless you want to come off as awkward or offensive or put them in an awkward position, you have to be willing to lose. You have to be willing to let the moment go. Because if you're not willing to let the moment go, chances are you're going to do something that makes that person feel awkward, or you're going to be that guy who's pestering or hovering around. So be willing to let the moment go if it's just not the right time. Who knows, maybe you'll have another chance someday. 
the second thing is make it really quick because sometimes people start talking to somebody famous and they lose track of time and then they're monopolized in their time they're getting in their way they're getting in the way of other people who need to talk to that person so if you're going to make it quick really make it quick and when i jumped in there i just said hey can i ask you a quick question then i asked the question that was it i didn't have a lot of prep i didn't spend two minutes explaining what i wanted to do i didn't tell him i wanted to write, read a book i just asked him the question to try to get the answer that I wanted as quickly as possible and hopefully just use up 20 seconds of his time or something. So be willing to lose, ask your question quick, and then get out of there and don't monopolize that person's time. And the funny thing is, it's interesting how willing people are to give you advice and help if you're not really asking for anything more. If you go to these people and you say, hey, will you fund my company? Can I pitch you my company? Now you're asking for a huge favor. But if you say, hey, I'd just like some of your advice. Can you answer a question for me or two? Then that's a lot easier. When I was a university student, I wanted to interview David Neeleman, who's the founder of JetBlue. And so I reached out to him. And so this is a tip for you young people. When you're young, it's a lot easier to get this kind of advice because you can play that youth card. So I played the youth card with David Neeleman. I emailed the general email on the JetBlue website, and I just said, hey, I'm a student at university, and I'd love to interview David Neeleman and ask him about how he got to where he is and his success story. And within a few days, I got an email back from his assistant, and she said, hey, David would love to talk to you. He'll set up a half-hour appointment for, with you. And I was able to get a half hour with David Neeleman and interview him. And that was great. I still remember some of the things that I learned from that day. And so when you're young, you can uh, get in touch with these famous people a lot more easily than you can when you're older. And people kind of assume you should already know what you're doing, even though the truth is none of us really know what we're doing. But when you're young, you can play that youth card and you can get in a lot easier if you're just asking for advice and you're just asking for a little bit of time. So few tips on how to get in touch with famous people. It's easier than you think if you just go out and try it. So try it out and let me know if it works for you. Thanks.